All right, so we're going to talk about combustion reactions. Uh, combustion reactions um, are was when oxygen combines with a substance and releases energy in the form of light and heat. Combustion reactions are a classic one, the very most exothermic reaction we can have. Exotherm exothermic indicating that it releases energy in the form of light and heat. That means exothermic. So let's look at this reaction. All right, so we have hydrogen combining with oxygen to form water. Now this that fact that it's combining with oxygen is our indicator that this is a combustion reaction. But then we also look at it and say, huh, it only gives us one product. We can also say, oh, this is also a synthesis reaction. So this, actually, this reaction actually falls under two different types of categories, combustion and synthesis. But typically, you'll see a combust uh, combustion reaction with a hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen rather than other things. What is a hydrocarbon? Well, a hydrocarbon is a compound, is a carbon-containing compound with hydrogens or oxygens attached to it. Um, let's look at this one below. So we have methane, or CH4, reacts with oxygen, which is our indicator that it's a combustion reaction. It's going to require a bit of energy for this reaction to take place, but it's going to release a lot more energy than it needs, indicating that it's an exothermic reaction. Our products will always, without a doubt, always, always, always be carbon dioxide and water if the reaction is a complete reaction, meaning we put in enough energy for this reaction to take place fully. If we didn't put in enough energy, the reaction will still take place, but it won't be as quite as, not as nice. It will give us the, the, pro the products of carbon monoxide, not very good, very poisonous actually, and water. That's an indicator that's an incomplete combustion reaction. All right, so combustion reactions are always fun to watch. So let's actually look over here and watch a video on uh, a combustion reaction in action. Hey, uh, here are one of the, it is water bottles. So that's what this is, a water bottle. You're a big strong man. I want you just to push on the sides there and see if that bottle will crush. Oh no. It's hard, isn't it? I right? mean, I'm, 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 you know, you're there. I'm pretty I muscular, tell. but not even I am going to be there, crushing there you that go. guy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to let air do this for us. So put on your safety glasses okay. because you get to now deal with not only fire, but a flammable liquid. Simple. So we say don't fire. try this at home, all right? So I have a flammable liquid here. It's actually ethanol. Another suit and that goes down inside. the hole. Nah, it's fine. You've gotten a <laughs> refund on a lot of them. Oh, now God. what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this around so that we can get it to evaporate inside. So in just a second here, we're going to light this on fire. We're going to create some heat that's inside. And as soon as that heat is inside, it's going to push all those air molecules out. And then we're going to make a, kind of a one-way valve. I'm going to put my hand on top of it like this. And we're going to see whether or not the air pushing around us, you can see the effects on this bottle. Collapse it. Okay. Fair enough? Fair all enough. All right, so here we go. So uh, a little match here. Do you want to hear you do the honors? Oh, Ready? Great. So you're just going to kind of drop it down right, inside. You're going to put your hand on yeah, it, right? Yeah, I, I just kind of drop, drop it down it. inside. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hear that? Oh, oh, oh. Now watch. I'm going to cover. Watch. Go for it. Heavens Look sakes. at this. You're actually crushing the bottle. Now, I'm not doing that. Look, the air all around us is crushing the bottle. Listen to this. Listen. Oh, Isn't that amazing? So that it's that air pushing cool. around it. Now we get a double I'm not kidding. That's, 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 that's a strong bottle. Very rigid plastic. Yeah. Now, look, watch this. Because we had combustion inside this whoosh bottle, so to speak, what we're left with now is water. So when we pour this out here, this. Is, is the, the byproduct of the uh, combustion it's is exactly, water? Exactly. It's carbon dioxide and water. Oh, so I it's a bunch of great sure. demos all in one. All right. So what exactly happened in that video? Okay. So we had the guy had ethanol um, in, in an aqueous solution, and he put it inside that big container. Okay. Ethanol's compound looks like this, C2H5OH. It reacted with oxygen, which is the source of the flame. So he put a flame in there, and that's our source of oxygen gas. And it reacted. Okay. And it gave us carbon dioxide as a gas, so all that oxygen was eaten up and gone away, and now we have carbon dioxide left, and we have water, as you saw him pouring out the water in liquid form out of the container. So why did it crush? Well, you look at it and you say, okay, we have for every, um, in the product reactant side, sorry, we have three particles of oxygen gas for every two particles of carbon dioxide gas. So we're actually losing some gas in this reaction. All these guys are getting up, these are going to go away, and only two gas particles are going to be uh, produced in its place. So that means we have less ga gas particles and so the volume is actually much smaller, which is the reason why it crushed down. And then at the end we also saw him pour out the, the water um, to prove that there was water byproduct. Alright, so that is uh, combustion reactions.